everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we have our DIY Wednesday and today we're making cookie sheet chore charts. They're really adorable, inspired by Pinterest and um, I've had a chore chart for them using picture frames but when I was trying to get a metal sheet to put inside the picture frames, our local Home Depot and Lowe's are just, I guess they're in the process of switching over their, their metal sheets. I don't know and I couldn't get them. I wanted to get them soon. I've been trying to do this since last fall. Then the other night I said, I need to go back and look at chore charts on Pinterest. And I came across the cookie sheet one. I was like, oh my God, that's perfect. I already got the magnets. I just need the sheet. And then the whole idea with the cute ribbon, I love them. So without further ado, let me show you how to make them. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's DIY is a chore chart and these are the supplies that you will need. Um, a cookie sheet for each child. I have three so I have three cookie sheets here. I bought these at Dollar Tree for one dollar and all you do is you paint them. As you see they are the regular cookie sheet and I sprayed paint just the front. I chose the blue. You can choose whatever color you need to match your decor or your, your kids favorite color. I did it to match the decor of the kitchen is blue. Then what you will need to do the next step after you spray it and let it dry. I'm going to be going I think and just going after. Um, let me tell you the next step would be is to drill two holes up here in like a three inch space. And what I'm going to do is have my husband do that, and then I'm going to spray it with a um, clear coat on top to hopefully keep it um, from peeling, because I'm noticing some of them, where is it, right here, it's already starting to come off. So I'm going to just go and um, put that shellac over it um, after we do the drilling. You put a piece of wood It's helping it stay level so you don't dent it. And I learned that we should have waited and drilled before we painted. So I'm going to have to touch up. Okay, so the next item that you'll need to make, you can always be doing this while you spray paint and let it dry, is you need some sort of a, you know, you could do any shape. I chose the circles. I had these. These are these little... I don't even know, tags, they came with the string on them, so you can like hang them and write on them. And what I did is I spray painted them gold. Um, I've been working on this for quite some time, so it's been a while. And then I just took actually from Dollar Tree circle stickers, and I chose blue, my kitchen's blue, it's going in the hall, and I wrote the chores on them. And then I had these little magnets as well and I glued those on the back and then what you want to do is get some washi tape and I'm sticking with the blue to decorate them and to divide it up into the sections and I'll show you and again from the Dollar Tree I found some blue satin ribbon for a dollar and you get six yards so that should be plenty I figure I'll have two yards a piece for each kid and that's way more than enough I have three kids I'm doing this for Okay, so you'll just have to decide upon the different chores, make your little pieces, and then, you know, you just go ahead and pick what you want. So let me get to the next step, and I will show you. Okay, so now that I've re-spray painted them, I am going to use the washi tape and put it on, and I will show you. Uh, oh, and there's another item I need to show you. Okay, so I bought these um, at, I believe, Michael's. It's been a while for each of their names. And that's going to go on top. Um, like I'll show you, start with this one. And I'm going to have to get my hot glue. And then I'll be putting on the washi tape. So I will show you when I have all that complete. Okay, so now what I did is I glued the bead right in the center on the top. I did some washi to divide it. And then, because what you're going to do is you're going to do to-do 
and then done. And I'm going to use my um, stickers that I have, um, you know, my alphabet stickers. And then down here, I did another section that um, if you wanted to do um, like stars or something, I'm going to probably put on, um, I think I might do like circle stickers and then on it do like stars that each time they do well that they'll get a star and then this will decide how many stars probably like five and then they'll get something whether it's an ice cream out with dad or um, a new you know four or five dollar toy um, or just a special ice cream you know popsicle some sort of a reward um, just for now probably not for too long because then they just have to learn to be able to do their chores um, but at least to start it. So then that's plenty of room because they'll probably only have, um, let's see, probably like maybe four or five on one day. And there's plenty of room to put them. As you just see, they'll stick. And like I said, I'm going to put to do and then done. And they will, sorry for that quick. And um, they will then move it over when it's done. And... Um, what I also could do is on each of the sheet put all the chores down here if I didn't want to display the progress of stars we could just decide um, let me know there is room so I'm trying to figure out my own way what I've seen on I'll show you on Pinterest they did the star like sort of thing a progress of their how good they're doing but even if I did it like at the top and be able to put all these on the three different cookie sheets depending on which ones that they're not using so let me go ahead and I'm gonna make all of them I got two more to do and then I will show you okay so here they are done I got a few of them on the wall so you take the ribbon you put it through the holes and you tie it I just have a small little nail on the wall and here's what I did washi tapes coming off and I gotta get the letters. I'll show you again the end result with the to do and done. Um, I'll probably be doing that this evening. And then I'll zoom out. We have Ben and Sebastian. And what I have to do is because of this, I can't put the middle one. But what ended up happening is when Emma was younger, <laughs> we've had these up for a while. They're school bags. Um, and I had picture frames up with like a silly looking thing for their chore charts, that's why I wanted to upgrade. Um, she used to hang on these hooks that we had gotten. Um, and so it's coming out of the wall, so he has to bring it down so that he can do the, um, the thing inside the wall there, you know, that piece. So we're gonna bring it down and it'll hang just a slight bit lower than these, which will actually look pretty cute. Hers has, let me show you, the floral tape, Emma's. So that'll look cute, her in the middle, and a little bit lower, and she's, you know, sh shorter, so it won't be so bad that her bag's just a teeny bit lower than theirs, probably like an inch or two. So yeah, so the next thing I have to do is put the to-do and done. I will do that in a little bit, and I will show you the final product. I think these are adorable, they're cheap, easy to do. Um, the hardest thing is basically just drilling it, really. Um, and you can make them any color, you can make them look, you know, unique to you because of the washi tape. Um, I think it's great. I actually didn't even put the shellac on, but, you know, you guys can. <laughs> um, hopefully it won't peel. If it does, then we'll have to repaint and re-put some washi tape. You know what I mean? Pull off the letters and re-glue them. And these are pretty cute. They got the glitter on them. I don't know if you can see that, the letters, they have a white glitter, so it's pretty cute. So here it is on Pinterest. Again, it's the Craftaholics Anonymous. I guess I like them. Uh -huh. They have really cool projects. The DIY chore charts. See how they have the to-do and done. And then they have here like a progress thing leading up to it to like give them their stars. I don't know if I'll do that. 
But it looks really cute. They did it teal with orange color ribbon and washi tape. So it's very creative, very simple and easy, and very cheap. So they used um, their things to make them. So that's the only part you have to figure out is how to make your little circles and you put on some magnets. I had it already, and I'll probably add some new ones to it once we start using it. And this is it. So here's the final. It has the to-do and done with my letters. And I got their chores ready for tomorrow. They're each going to have four. I think they look really, really cute. So here are all of the chore charts with their school bags. And we did start off with the big boy... He did have a hook, but now he's in middle school and it's just too heavy. Um, so he has his chore chart, but no bag. So I'm excited. I got the chores. Each have four for tomorrow. It will be their first day with these cute magnets. Let me see. And then they done. So I and I love the letters. I had some really cute letters in my stash. And I love the ribbon. I think that's what makes it so cute. You know, the parents think they're cute in their in their house. And they do kind of bend these um, cookie sheets. Do bend. They're the cheap Dollar Tree ones. So just keep that in mind. You know, you can spend more money and get better ones. So, all right. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And enjoy the glitter. Talk to you next time.